to the class news update at 10. Coming up, NDC Disability Desk demand immediate dismissal of road minister over stranded former toll boot collectors. Also, state funeral for late Teresa Kufo underway. My name is Elizabeth Adu. Now, the Bank of Ghana is warning the public against doing any financial transaction with unlicensed entities through mobile loan application. Speaking on the sidelines of a sensitization program on banking services, customer rights and responsibilities for market women at the Kumasi Kedetia market, the head of conduct supervision at the Bank of Ghana, Augustine Amwako Donko, advised the public to be vigilant about unregistered online lenders to ensure they do not fall victim. These online lenders, some of them we have observed are into illegalities, meaning that they do not have the requisite license from the Bank of Ghana or any financial regulator to operate the business of uh, granting uh, loans. Using the benefit of uh, the internet, they put up their uh, apps with very, very funny uh, names. There are several of them Ghana Busia, Ghana City Loan so many uh, names and what they do is they solicit for customers to come uh, pick uh, loans the conditions under which they give the loans some of them are so you know are not in the interest of the borrower you had the head of conduct supervision at the Bank of Ghana, Augustine Namwako Donko. Now, the disability decks of the National Democratic Congress is demanding the immediate dismissal of Road Minister Kwesi Amwakwata for his insensitiveness towards persons living with disability who lost their jobs two years ago after road tools were scrapped. Yesterday, a number of persons living with disability were arrested by the Greater Accra Regional Police Command for picketing at the Road Ministry in an attempt to meet the minister. After helping to secure their release, National Coordinator of the NDC's Disability Dex, Frederick Asso, urged the minister's continuous neglect of the former tool books as insensitive. Then we have to bail them. With what the minister has done, is he fit to be in office? No, 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 because they don't respect persons with disabilities. So the minister, honestly, closing that tool boot and telling them that you are going to reinstate them and you are going to pay them for two years now 288 of them you've not given them one dime exactly somebody caused suicide somebody committed a suicide at takradi a lady we will try and see the minister and if to no avail we'll do it bigger that was the national coordinator of the NDC's Disability Dex, Frederick Asso. Now, Member of Parliament for Medina, Francis Xavier Susu, has welcomed government's idea to waive import duties for local manufacture of sanitary parts. This adjustment comes on the back of numerous calls from 48 non-governmental organizations, civil society organizations, and well-meaning Ghanaians through demonstrations and petitions for government to remove tax on sanitary parts to ensure menstrual hygiene and quality of life for all Gan women in Ghana, especially young girls in school. During the presentation of the 2024 budget and economic statement to Parliament yesterday, the Finance Minister Ken Oforiata stated that government is extending zero rates backed on locally produced sanitary parts and grants import due to waiver for raw materials for the local manufacture of sanitary parts. In an interview with Class News after the presentation, the Member of Parliament for Madina, Francis Xavier Susu, said, though all this shows government is meeting them halfway, they are still going to push for total scrap of tax on sanitary parts in Parliament. I was, we were requesting for removal of all these taxes and also reclassification of the sanitary parts themselves as a social goods which should be zero rated and so i'm confident that uh, beyond this i mean uh, opportunity that we have today which leads to removal of these taxes you see we are going to continue to push to ensure that the bill get passed so that the the raw materials are all the, the or parts could be reclassified that was the Member of Parliament for Madina, Francis Xavier Susu. Now, before we leave, a state funeral for the late former First Lady Teresa Kufo is underway at the forecourt of the State House in Accra. The event commenced at 7 a.m. with a foul past followed by a burial mass at 9 a.m. Final funeral rites will be performed for the former First Lady at Heroes Park in Kumasi on Saturday, November 18, 2023. The former First Lady died at her home in Pediasi, surrounded by her family, on Sunday, October 1, 2023. 23 at the age of 87 a requiem mass was held on wednesday november 15 2023 in her honor the event held at christ the 
Catholic Church in Cantonment, Accra brought together high-profile personalities, politicians, members of the New Patriotic Party, as well as family and friends of the late former First Lady. Teresa Kufo married former President John Adrikum Kufo in 1962 and served as Ghana's First Lady between 2001 and 2009. We are still following and will bring you updates in a subsequent bulletin. My name is Elizabeth Adu. For more news and updates, do log on to classfmonline.com. Thank mm-hmm. you.